So we're looking for a flashlight. Sorry, we're, uh, I'm just, I'm texting my mother regarding my brother. I also why is my It's just a clusterfuck. Sorry. Verif. Oh my god. You, uh, I think, overestimate my skill points. I'm still looking for a flashlight, apparently. Never mind. <laughs> did I not... Did I just not go in here? I swear to god that was not here before. Not to worry, I have my night vision goggles. That was actually much smoother than I thought it was. I, that was not there the last time, I swear. I looked at that. A little savorino here. Oh my god, woman, what do you want? So, my brother is bringing furniture to me. Um, and I've been trying to sell my old furniture, because my apartment is too fucking small for this furniture, right? And my brother, like, was supposed to let me know, like, what was going on, and he's a busy man, and I know that. And, um, so all of a sudden, you know, my parents leave, they have the house till Friday, uh, the, like they were renting, and, um, my brother did a final walkthrough with a landlord, and then he texted me at, like, 6.30 tonight and was like, hey, do you want your stuff tonight? And I'm like... He's coming, like, north of Toronto. I'm southwestern Ontario, okay? So I'm like, uh... I was like, like, my stuff's not sold. He never told me when he was coming, so I didn't, like, arrange to have it, like, maybe picked up so it could be donated. Like, drawers aren't emptied. Like, literally nothing, because I had no idea what was going on, right? So I was like, if you want to come, cool, no problem. Um... But you're gonna have to help me move it into the garage until I can get it picked up, right? Because like, I'm not ready, basically. And then I haven't heard from him, so I was like, okay, maybe he's on his way. Like, no big deal. I don't know where he is. I haven't heard from him at all. Oh. Uh, Pineapple. No, it's melon. Cherries. Melon. Orange. Melon. Melon. Speak, friend, and enter. Oh my god. Okay. I reached the first intersection. It had three exits. North, east, and Here west. We go. I checked the map. Oh. Okay. Uh. The first letter was E, so I took the path to the east. Okay. Why do I feel like I want my gun out for this? I reached the second intersection. Okay. It also had three exits. This is north, north I think, east, right? and west. I checked the map a second time. Oh, never mind. The second letter was also an E, so I took the east path. I would make an effort to check the map at every intersection as I proceeded. Yep. Map indicates the exits of each intersection, not the exits of each screen. Hang on, what? Oh. Okay. Where the fuck am I? Oh, there I am.
Okay, so... So west? This is an intersection, right? So this is west. Is this also in it? Oh! Oh god. Oh no! I can't... I can't believe I have to waste bullets for this. I mean, I can try and see if I can use this. Ghosts are relentless, allegedly. No, I gotta use again. We have to use the gun. Okay, sorry. West, west. <laughs> Was it a third west? Oh, you're right, because this is west, and this is also west. Gotcha. So it's north. Because you can only go north. Oh my god, we're going to be here for a long while. Okay, uh, four norths. So that was one north, here's two north. This is three north. Can you guys see ghosts? Because I can't, I can. This is. Oh my god, help me already. I'm already sick of this. Oh fuck, okay. I think you have to do three shots. North one. This is three north, like this is, we're heading into three north.
so <laughs> which one am I going to? East, South, East. just a touch too far because all I wanted was the box. That's all I wanted was just the box. Oh, that could happen too. Oh my god, that could happen. Oh my god. Sorry. Does he chase me? Thank god he don't chase me because I don't know what the f What a giant waste of time that was. Holy fuck. God, I am just not paying attention to what is happening right now for myself, like, at all. I am, like, legitimately, I'm, I'm zoned out right now. Good. Are you kidding me? Oh. I just have to punt him off of screen. That's actually good to know. Okay, uh, I'm gonna heal myself now. I'm running out of bullets. about this but I thought that was the fourth north What's going on? Like, this feels like such a great spot for secrets, and I'm not finding secrets. Okay, so this is third north. 
That is fourth north. My, I, I, that's the only other way it can be. Okay, keep going straight. Okay, fourth north. What? Is that a ghosty there? Two ghosties. Okay, this is obviously another intersection, so am I going south? South. I don't know where I am now. I think we're going north. North four times, so that's one north. This is two north, right? Three north. South, right? You know, 
know what I am going to do really quickly? Pee break in the catacombs. Oh, that's the wrong map. Hang on a second. Okay. Uh, because I was going off of memory, now I forget where we are. So we have to head east, right? So this is one north. I don't remember where we are now. I don't I don't remember where I am. Did we go up or down? We go east? Okay, so we have to do one more south, and then I guess we're on the four north. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yep, this is familiar. Okay, yep, 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 yep. I'm gonna heal. I gotta get back up there. All right, well, while we're waiting for um, health to generate. Let's have my snack. Hope everybody's having a good one. Am I supposed to be heading, actually, am I supposed to be heading south? I think I'm supposed to be heading north, right? Yeah, we're supposed to be going up to the first north. Okay. That was close. Another okay, it's two north. So this is where I tried to go. We're going east? Because I think we did just try. I'm going to have another pee break. Because I think we did just try to go north again, did we not? And it was bad. East now. Whoops. Sorry. Let me just pull the map out. North. Uh, west, west. I'm so glad I did that save there. Okay, so here's north. So west, God. All 
are we on the are we going north now? Okay. East. Oh, there's a Jesus. Okay. North. Jesus Christ. I don't know why I punched. For whatever reason I punched, I don't know why. There was something odd about that wall. I found a suspicious brick that smelled like turkey. I pushed it and... Oh, thank God. Look at all that experience. How are we supposed to get the, all that experience? Mm. I entered the secret door and left those dungeons Yay. behind. Ahead of me was a less dank portion of the basement. According to Mike, there had to be an elevator somewhere that went to General X's office, which should ultimately hold the original helicopter key. On the other hand, Robert told me that he heard of a special room with an X on its door, which could alternatively hold a copy of that key. Either option was fine as long as I could get a hold of a damn working key. And thus, my search of the basement began. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Let me just put on my old spy oculars here. Interesting. I was trying to see if maybe there's... Okay. Do I have this? Okay, so we found the room here. I don't want to go in there just yet because I just want to take a peek and see what else is going on around here. Because if we're picking up C4, then I want to make sure, well, it's C1 actually, but are we adding? Hang on. Uh, one more until I have four. There it, there it was. General Lexus private elevator. Okay, never mind. We'll just get on down here. Because there was one room that we also did not get to, which is over here. Just out of curiosity. C2. C3. Okay. <laughs> All those C1s. A door marked with an X, just like Robert told me. There it was. The secret room where they kept the helicopter key. Why would they keep a key in such a creepy place instead yeah. of an office? The more I thought about it, the more things felt out of place. I had a strange feeling, like a gut feeling that something was just wrong. Oh, no. Um, that doesn't sound good. So either it's a trap. Um, I guarantee you if I go over here, I won't be able to open the door, it doesn't look like, right? I need that special... Yeah, I need the key, so I have to go down there and get it. Well, I feel like I'm walking into a trap. 
I've got C4 explosive and I don't know why. Oh, Mr. Hi. Fox. You have finally I arrived. Have. General X, the same. Are you searching for a key, Mr. Fox? Mm. Perhaps one for a no. helicopter? You won't find it here, Mr. Fox. I'm afraid that your contact has betrayed you. Fuck. God damn it, Robert. Don't blame him. He's been the victim of my counterintelligence. Right there, in front of me, was General X, the puppet master of Operation Jericho. Robert Not only was up. he a merciless, psychopathic asshole, he was so smart that he could predict my every move. For starters, he tricked me and Robert into searching for this room. You had us waiting longer than expected, Mr. Fox. If you drew some arrows in the labyrinth, I would have come sooner. That would remove a certain charm, no. don't you think? By the way, I brought some company. Colonel! Doctor! I see you're already acquainted. Yeah. I'll get to the point, Mr. Fox. Surrender. Otherwise, we'll start executing our guests. There were too many people. If I opened fire, Harris and the doctor could die. Let me guess. You're considering the option of shooting, mm. but you know that Harris and the doctor could die. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> he read my mind, but that asshole X was a clean shot. If I shot quickly, I don't even I have could my kill gun. him. Now, you're probably thinking I'm stupid for being so exposed, and that you can kill me with a quick enough shot. If you shoot and kill me, that would be the end of the final boss. Of all of this, you'd be a hero. Do you really have such a low opinion of my intellect, no. Mr. Fox? Shit. This was part of his plan. He was here on purpose. I was thinking that he might have worn a bulletproof vest. By now, you should be thinking <laughs> that I'm wearing a bulletproof vest. Shooting an armored man would be foolish, don't you think? Fuck! He read my mind once again. But even if his body was covered, that his head true. was not. One bullet between his eyes and goodbye. But you're not a quitter, Mr. Fox. <laughs> it's only logical that you'd consider shooting me in the head. I will admit, a challenging yet possible shot. An Olympian trial of marksmanship. Reflexes I have none of those things. Let me spare you the trouble. Sergeant! Yes, sir! Shoot me in the head at point-blank range. But, sir! That's an order. Uh, yes, sir! Oh. The bullet went through his head, but the bastard was unfazed. Return to your post, Sergeant. Yes, sir! Poor Mike. <laughs> what you're staring at in awe, Mr. Fox, is a projected image of myself. A hologram? Precisely, Mr. Fox. And now that it's obvious that you can't kill me, let's conclude the matter of your surrender. Or are there not enough dead bodies to convince you? Just give me ten seconds to think about it. Of course. Uh... What do we do? Should we surrender and lull him into a false sense of security? Should we save Harris or should we save the doctor? Um, there's three of you in chat. <laughs> so you get to decide. I, I wonder, I kind of want to see what would happen if we, if I hit surrender. Right? Okay, Vera has Vera has spoken. It's okay. I surrender. Oh, nope. That's not it. That's not the right answer. Mr. Okay, oh, we'll just skip through here. We'll just skip through that. And we'll skip through this. Okay. I think we should save the doctor. She's younger. She has more will to live. Kill the doctor. Well, that didn't go the way I thought it was going to at all. Okay. Mr. We're gonna kill Fox. Harris, I guess. Colonel! 
Harris it is. Kill Harris. <laughs> what is the option? Okay, hang on. I wondered why that was here. To use the explosive, I needed something to act as a timer. Okay. Ah, <gasps> the wristwatch. Mr. Fox. I'm still gonna have him kill. <laughs> that changes everything! I'm not gonna tell him to watch out. I'm going with God. Do you believe in God, General? Of course. Who else would entrust me with such a sacred mission? And you, Mr. Fox. Are you a prey nope. man? Well, General, I'm more a believer. Of the big bang. Doctor! I'm fine. What happened? Boom. An explosion. The guard behind you received the brunt of it. Colonel! He's fine. He'll be okay. He's alive. Looks like he just blacked out. We have to leave before reinforcements arrive. I'm taking Harris with me. It's best not to move him. We don't know if he has any fractures or internal wounds. I'll take the risk. He can't stay here. Are you not coming? Hang on. Have we got... <laughs> he might have internal injuries. He also might not. Um, do you guys have a key card by chance? It's a special key card that I kind of need to get out now. What about you? Anyway, I'm just gonna. Doctor, let's go! I'm not coming, Fox. Why not? There are injured that require my attention, and I don't want to leave my father alone. What? They were going to kill you! No, they weren't. It was just a trick to catch you. And if I leave, my father won't work and they'll kill him. Run! Go away! I'll come back for you with the cavalry. You have my word. I left that room carrying the okay. colonel. Wait, you're saying that you managed to rescue Colonel Harris? That's correct. Well, Mr. Fox, let's see what you invent to remove him from this story. Lieutenant, we found a corpse in the remains of the uh -oh. helicopter. What? Who is he? We don't know, Lieutenant. It was totally carbonized by the fire. Take him to the lab. I want a forensic analysis done yesterday. Do you understand me, Wachowski? Yes, sir. Fuck. <laughs> we killed Colonel Harris. <laughs> May God forgive us. No, he's not Harris. The colonel died a month ago in an ambush. These are his personal belongings, his dog tag, his watch. Don't you remember, Sergeant? We found them on his corpse. That man has never seen the colonel. He's just trying to confuse us with his lies. Fuck's sake, he has absolutely no evidence for what he's saying. I have this. But what? If I'm not mistaken, it's a graduation ring for the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate you know School. That. Colonel Harris graduated in a 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. Sergeant, you don't believe him, do you? With all due respect, sir, I only said that Colonel Harris graduated in the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. He's trying to fool us, Sergeant. I remind you that there are more rings like this one. Yes, but not with the same smell. It reeks of shit. <laughs> Sir, permission to smell the ring? Fuck. It smells just like Colonel Harris's what? anus. What? Yeah, how, how the hell do you, do you know, know what that? the Colonel's anus smells like? I'm not authorized to reveal that information, sir. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. Oh, shit. Mr. Fox, continue your story. Let's see if we can yeah. finish this once yeah, and for I, all. We might be here for a while, though. Oh, that's a big boom. I'm 
I'm glad I took my time. Okay, everybody, remember, who saw me? Who saw me? I demand to know who it was. We'll get him. I don't, because I obviously can't go this way. We'll get him. We'll just start another corpse room. Oh, good. Everybody's here. Oh, good, there's more. Oh my god! <laughs> Why are they all patrolling right here? What is happening right now? I don't have a plan yet. I need my bioculars, sorry. Look at this nonsense here. They are not coming down here. <laughs> I have no plan yet. Look at this. What is this? Yeah, I need to get it. Huh? 
right in here, my guy. Let's have a little nap there. Oh boy. Oh god. Come on. God damn it. Well, first of all, I refute that. Okay. Come on. Nobody's here. <laughs> you can come in here too. I might die again. Making headway. There you go. Are they coming down in a pair? Yes, the answer was that they did. They they came in a pair. God damn it. Oh, come on. How is that my fault? <sighs> so frustrating. Where the fuck did that guy come from? Oh, good. I could, yeah. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'm 
ready. There we go. Just make sure you always clean up your mess. Okay, hopefully the colonel hasn't died. That was uh, unnecessarily stressful. All right, pal, let's go. Yeah, I don't know how they expected you to do this without getting caught by these guys. Like, that seems impossible. Assuming we're going up, right? I went up in the private elevator of... Lieutenant, they found a bullet in the carbonized corpse head. A bullet? Yeah. So it wasn't us after all. Colonel Harris was Murder. murdered. Hey, friend, don't look at me. I haven't killed anyone. I'm not your friend. For fuck's sake, <laughs> shut up. Wachowski, send the bullet to Science Officer Hollister for analysis. And tell him to collate it with the gun Mr. Fox had on him. Maybe we'll have a surprise. I want the results of that five minutes ago. Understood? Yes, sir. Ooh. Bougie. Okay. Wow. That asshole General X had some cool music equipment. <laughs> Multi-band equalizer, auto-amplified subwoofer, and... No way. What? Double deck cassette player. <laughs> Fuck, you could record directly from one cassette to another. What an age we live in. You stay here for a second. There's the door. Alright, well, you know what I'm gonna do then? Might as well do that. There's like 7,000 doors here. I'm just gonna put everything he has. God damn it, I still don't have the thing for the thing. Can I break this? Nope. I can't even break that. out that bastard kept a fully stocked armory behind his office. Sorry, Colonel Harris. Well. Oh. You think we're gonna need grenades or something? Something tells me we're gonna need the, uh, grenades. any keys, do you? Maybe I have to go up one more level. I finally reached the last floor. Lieutenant, we already have the ballistics results. And? You are right, sir. Ballistics established that the bullet was fired from Mr. Fox's gun. You killed Colonel Harris, you bastard. Sergeant, behave. Sir, permission to execute that assassin. Permission denied. First off, we can't confirm the identity of the victim until we have the forensics report. Second, according to policy, Mr. Fox has nice the right to that. finish his story. Mr. Fox, continue. And you better not contradict the evidence we're collecting. I still don't have a helicopter key, though. Mr. Fox, 
leaving so soon, and without a farewell. Uh -oh. That's not very neighborly of you. And what's that on Nothing. your shoulder? That's personal property, Mr. Fox. Haven't your parents taught you never to steal? General X stood in my way, assuming it was really him and not another hologram. Are you asking yourself <laughs> if I'm another hologram? Well, yeah. <laughs> no, not this time. It is I, in the flesh. Good. Then I'll... Put a bullet in my head. You read my mind. Please tell me, Mr. Fox. How does one shoot that which they cannot see? What? What the fuck? Do you like my new device, Mr. Fox? Optical electronic hollow camouflage. The latest in nanotechnology. Obviously, if you start firing randomly, there's still a chance I may be hit. I believe dumb luck is a concept you're fond of. So if you don't mind, I invite you to expend some ammunition with some friends. Oh god. What is happening already? Hang on. Some grenades, though. Let's find out. Wait, what? Oh my god, I already don't like the sound of this. Oh god. I just want you all to know right now. Uh, I don't have the wherewithal for this. <laughs> I don't have the wherewithal for this. Oh, I'm already here, sorry. I think. Mr. Fox. I think he was picking her paw, actually. Now that you mention it. Yeah, he must have been. Yeah, he is. He is taking my... Well, it's shitty for him. He took my sunglasses! Fuck off. Why is he stealing from me? It's very rude of him. So, here's my question then. I'm trying to see if I can't, like, grab him. Oh, 
Uh, maybe not, though. Yeah, he is pickpocketing me. So, he took my files, so now I have no evidence. So... the fire extinguisher I just wanted to see. I don't know. I don't know what to say here. Like, am I supposed to be, um, can you imagine? Nah. Because it, it doesn't pickpocket as long as I'm roaming around. I can't use the ring. I was afraid you were going to say that. Why is he taking it? don't want to do this. <laughs> How am I supposed to make that thing? Maybe I should try the rocket launcher? I don't know. Mr. Fox. What did I ever do to him? Besides literally annoying him with my existence. What's my boat? Did he just take a grenade from me? I can't believe you took my designer sunglasses. No. Yes. Do you have many? Wow. 
Well, that's not good. I really don't want to be doing this anymore. <laughs> Like, I, why though? Why can't we just fight this fucking asshole? He's pickpocketing me. And he already stole my rusty wire. Look at this. Pissing away fucking bullets here because the way these things are jank. Asshole. He took my binoculars. Look at this shit. first item. I can't believe he stole my rusty wire. He has no respect for anything. I'm like, I'm already, oh, I'm already over this. Mr. Fox. I just don't understand why this has to be a thing we have to do. No. Can you fucking stop moving, please? Why did I do that? Why the fuck did I do that? good stuff, but he's leaving me keycard access. Why? It's like the weapons that we have are not strong enough to do this. Mr. F and that fucking cooldown with the roll is just so annoying. Stop taking my fucking files. Stop taking my actually you can take the interact. I've got 39 left.
All right. Well, I the answer is, will we beat it tonight? Absolutely fucking not, because I don't want to be doing this anymore. But thank you. I'm going to give this... Mr. Fox. Leaving They're so going over top of it? I did not even notice away. that. Oh, my That's God. Not very Stop taking my fucking rusty... Hello? Fucking Christ. Stop taking my access. Can you fuck off? Stop it! Great, so I haven't even reloaded my weapon and I'm already fucking worse off than when I started. Oh god. What am I doing? Get my shit together. That's my bad. That should be the last one now. Great. 
Mr. Fox. Oh god, I think I'm dead. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened there.
should be low on ammo by now, which means it's time to comfortably finish you. By the way, I'm sure you may have noticed by now, while you were distracted with my friends, I took the liberty to follow you around and recover some of my stolen property. God. beyond my expectations. Luckily, you've brought my first aid kits. Hope you don't mind that you're missing one. So, you've been stealing my stuff. Your stuff? Everything you've acquired is from my base, Mr. Fox. And as the proverb states, one who steals from a thief will receive a hundred years of pardon. That bastard had been stealing from me while I was busy destroying his machines. And I'm sure he was going to steal more stuff as he needed it. Fucking kidding me? Great. Well, if you can't use it, I can't use it. Kids, Mr. Fox. Unfortunately, you'll be unable to heal yourself anymore. Fortunately, it also means that you've run out of them. Which adds to the thrill. Let the best man win. I hate this. I hate this. What the fuck? What the fuck? You bastard! Mr. Fox, first you complain because I remove your belongings, and now you complain again when I return them? What? Cheer up. I simply gave back your rusty wire. Although, maybe I've been a little brusque. You can find it between your ribs. By the way, Mr. Fox, let's see if you can kill me before bleeding to death. Good luck. That's so kind of him. He took my bandage! I was like, haha, joke's on you, asshole. This is asinine. Great. What am I doing? shots left, so obviously. We'll just fire, because I'm going to die anyway. Of course, we have to go back. Uh, we're done for the night.